Right here, I can feel it. I can feel the presence of the Dark Lord. This is where we need to settle down. Fine. I will plan an ambush. It'll get done. Excellent. I'll let you handle the raid. Let me know when we're ready to go. After luring the enemy towards our ambush, there was no stopping our clan. Our shield wall was strong and well organized and the villagers didn't stand a chance. They went down one by one and yes, we did get hurt, but we definitely survived. And it didn't last long before the village was taken. Immediately after the battle, it was time to take care of the wounded. The following days were all about preparing for the future. A plot of land was placed and a research table was constructed. Among the clan members there was a lot of tension. Social fights were more of a rule than an exception. As mentioned in the description we have the climate cycle plus plus mod and temperatures will keep dropping. This is Scotty's curse. So we need to do the best we can do to prepare for this. Because of all the mods we have some plants who can grow indoor but they do need heat. So we'll definitely need a healthy stockpile of wood. However, the trees will not be here forever. Eventually they will die either of old age or the intense cold. And the way we're gonna handle that is going to make or break this colony. And of course there's also the raiders. The rifle clans did not like us insulting the gods obviously and they are definitely gonna try and kill us. By the looks of it, this is probably a scout group and they are no match for our force at the moment. We will make sure no one is kept alive. And hopefully this will send a message to the other clans. Don't screw with us. Shortly after the fight, we do have a pressing matter. This is the lack of food. There is hardly any left. And yes, we did consider other resources. And yeah, I know Vikings do everything to survive, but not having any cannibals at the moment, we will not go to that yet. Instead, we will pick some berry bushes. Some raccoons, however, do not agree and now want to eat us. We force them through the hallway and they will also fall. The wall of violence is too much for these raccoons. Thorsten over here thinks it is time to give our faction a name and we are the Vikings of Darkness and the settlement we're in is the Dark Lair. Then one day our keeper is hearing things. What... what are you? Why do you disturb me? My visions brought us to this place. We are looking for ultimate power. Bring me a sacrifice. Raise a cult in my name. Answer. To the call to darkness. During the conversation, she scribbled a grimoire. This grimoire should lead them towards the Dark Lord. By installing the Occult Research Center, we now officially have a cult going. Our obsession with the cult, however, already taken its first victims. Among them are two of our wolfhounds. We have been neglecting the plague and... Yeah, we need to say goodbye. In the meanwhile, it is gathering wood, wood and more wood and learn how to use the wood. For some, the stress of an early colony is just too much and Burger here is going to throw insults at Thorsten. Our keeper Sinja has found several ways to use our wood and finish the complex furniture. And of course, wood is not the only material we can use and Bjorn here makes sure we get plenty of other stuff as well. Burger also got himself into trouble and he's now picking a fight with Ulf who has been known for his bad tempers. Sinja is taking a better look at the grimoire and she finds out what the strange symbols mean and this means we can go on with the occult research. The following days we also had the pleasure of having a trader dropping by. This gives us the opportunity to unload some of our crap. And our keeper has found ways to praise the Dark Lord. It seems he has an eternal hunger and we need to find ways to satisfy him. However, to sacrifice we obviously need a proper altar and that is up next. And with the altar done, we can now get our colonists to join our cult. They will gather for a sermon every other day and this way their cult-mindedness will go up. 
To gather more building materials, we also deconstruct the ruin on the left side. And yes, we're only here for 10 days so far, but we're definitely turning this village into our village. Look at that. It's thriving. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's going very well. I think the gods are with us. Another trader to unload our crap. But some gods think it is time to punish us and they do this by blocking the sun. This is particularly harmful for our crop production of course. We need to up our standings with them and gonna improve the church. Got a bigger room and a research center in the back and the material used was bone. If that doesn't satisfy a dark god, what else does? But of course we don't want to satisfy just the god's needs. We also want to satisfy our colonists needs. So that's why we're gonna build them some houses. And of course, being Vikings, these houses are going to be wood. Another trader, another deal, another hunt, another meal. This is how life goes and life is good. Not for this work though. This work wanted the meal and now is become the meal. <laughs> Our keeper Senior was slowly losing her sanity after all of this. But giving her a simple hauling task will definitely help with that. And slowly but steadily our meat supply is growing. As a nice bonus our rice field is done growing, so we can make pemmican. Of course we do not know when winter arrives and pemmican we can store for quite a while. We are getting more and more familiar with the ways of the Dark Lord and soon he will accept sacrifices from us. However not everyone always agrees with the cult and sometimes just during a simple board game, people get into a fight. Hilda is questioning Sinja's belief and she gets furious about it and they attack each other straight away. Both hurt but not defeated, they will go to the medical clinic straight away. Here they get treated by the doctor but she uses quite valuable herbal medicine and I don't know if we want that. And before we know it, we have another raid coming. Let's see what we have. We have four people in the north. So we're using the same tactic as before. Shoot the ranged persons and let the melee handle the melee. And this works like a charm once again. Over here is victim number four. But he starts getting away. So Burger is in pursuit. It doesn't take long and then also this enemy goes down, which means all four foes have been taken care of, which is an excellent result for this battle. After that it's time to gather all the spoils of war and of course go back to the med bay. Here we can heal again and prepare for next time. When back at home we notice an earthquake. I knew it. This is a sign from the Dark Lord. He's watched us battle and he was pleased with the outcome. We are earning his trust. The Keeper was sure of his approval and the Dark Lord would meet them soon. The closer we come, the angrier the Norse gods become. They are now punishing us with a heat wave. Three of our colonists already had bedrooms, but of course the other three also deserve their own room. Our connection with the Dark Lord gets stronger and this opens up portals to another dimension and strange creatures appear through it. They are hooved, carry a mass of tentacles and accept sacrifice. So as long as they feast on the animals around, I am fine with them. But this we do not accept. He wants to feast on us. So we're gonna attack him. Luckily this is the same one that was already weakened by the turtle. Still it is quite a fight considering we're using all our 7 pawns to attack just one monster and there are two left on the map. I don't know if we need to take him down just as a precaution or if we're gonna leave him, but for now this is fine. It is quite terrifying and HP Lovecraft had a weird mind. Another Dark Young is sleeping over here and I hope we can use that to our advantage and use the ranged fighters first. At first the creature wants to run away, but not long after that it's seeking revenge. Our archers already did a lot of damage and the melee is definitely gonna finish them off, but as you can see it is somehow using acid. 
I don't know if this is the blood or not, but she gets hurt. After a kill like this, there should be a feast, but we don't have a proper space for that, so let's handle that next. Before we can finish it, however, we already have the next event, which is a raid. We put up the shield wall again, but this time there are a lot of ranged attackers, and we're gonna get them first. The last person alive is going to flee, and too bad we are not fast enough, so we have to let him go. All in all, it was again a good job from our fighters, and we're gonna praise the Dark Lord for this. Our first sacrifice to gain more favor of the god is gonna be a baby piggy. And thank god, literally, it was readily received. So we gained some favor with this, and the more favor we gain, the better rewards we can get. To prepare for winter, we also made a wood shack. We're gonna store the wood on pallets, because each pallet can contain 10 stacks of wood. Also, we're gonna finish off the last Dark Young. It was roaming in our village, and I thought it was too big of a chance to just let it go. And our new social room is ready. Looking at this thunderstorm, Odin is still not pleased with us, and he does his best to punish us with some flash storms. And yes, we still have wooden buildings, so we definitely need to get this fire out as quickly as possible. All things considering, I think we settled just fine. A half year has passed, we still live in, and everything is going according to plan. So if you're curious how the story continues, please subscribe and you will get a notification if you tick the little bell. And I will hope to see you next time.